hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Georgia if you are returning I appreciate you so much and if you are new here welcome on this channel I do talk about all things business I talk about how I used business credit to open up a party store and became a landlord and made 19k in 12 months so if you want to learn about any of those things make sure you do subscribe to this channel I'm gonna be talking so much about all of those things and more and today I will be talking about how to get your EIN number. I'm going to walk you through step by step and I do want to give a disclaimer. If you are in this process to get your EIN, you want to make sure that you have already registered your business with your state. If you're not sure how to do that, you can Google how to register my business in the state of blank. So you want to put your state there. Usually it's the website with .gov um, and you only pay the state fees to do that. If you want somebody else to do it for you, then you can, I'll put a link in the description box if you just rather pay a company to do it for you. Um, and then you'll pay the state fees. Um, the company I'm linking, it's about $49 to register your business. And that's just, a lot of people just do it for convenience. So if you prefer to do that, but if you want to do it yourself, this is um, a video for you to have um, and make sure you save and share. EIN, it's an employer identification number. So Think about it like this an EIN is pretty much the social for your business um, it's it's its own entity right it's its own think about it as its own person so in order to create this business you need to give this business an identity and in this case it's an EIN number and so with an EIN number if you're gonna have employees to file taxes to get a business bank account these are all things that you're gonna need in order to, uh, these are all things that come with or benefits of getting an EIN number. Um, so an EIN number separates you from your business, right? Because like I said, an EIN number is like a social. So it allows your EIN to have a social and allows you to have your social. And so that way they both don't intertwine or con con conflict in any way. Um, an EIN allows your business to have a clear identity on who it is and what it is, right, to the IRS in reference to collecting payments, employees, um, and just having your business stand on its own, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Also, you can get multiple EINs. So let's say you have three different businesses. You can get an EIN for each one of those businesses, um, and I'll show you on the website in a moment. It allows you to get one EIN per day. So it will say per day, per responsible party. I'll show you how they identify that you get one EIN per day. Um, they do ask for your social every time because they want to know who's applying for the EIN. And so that's where you will put your social. They'll say a uh, responsible party. Who's the responsible party for the business? And so that's where you enter in your social. So that's how they identify that you're getting one EIN per day. Also, if you have an EIN that you have lost, I'm going to put a phone number that you want to call in order to speak to the IRS in order to get your EIN. So you can keep that as a resource. Um, if you know anybody that has lost their EIN, make sure that they jot down that phone number just so you have it. All right, guys. So for the EIN, um, you want to make sure you pay attention to this part. I hope you pay attention to everything. This is one thing I do want to like point out and say, check, make sure you do remember this. Um, cause I had a few people that they forgot that I mentioned this. And so in order to apply online and get your EIN immediately, then you want to make sure that you're applying during these times, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today is Saturday, so it's not going to be available. If you click on this and you get this message, then that means that you're not within this time frame. Um, the website is rarely down. So, um, yeah, I had a few people that didn't remember the hours that I uh, pointed out, and then they received this message. So, as long as you're within those hours and days, you're good. The full application is going to pull up for you. Um, and so I'm going to go over the application with you. I'm going to go over the application with you, um, but I did just want to point that out. So for eligibility, um, you just want to make sure that you are your principal business is located in the United States. Um, and then you do have a Social Security number, ITIN or EIN number to apply. Usually this is like if you have a different status or something. Um, and then... You are limited to one EIN per responsible party, which I'll show you on the application. But per a person or per social security number you use, 
you are limited to one per day. And so if you need to get three EINs, then you have to wait three separate days and get one each day. Um, and then I will also, again, show you um, why you might want to get multiple EINs if you're into real estate. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, understanding the application, um, they if you are inactive for 15 minutes, they do time out your session. And you must complete the application in one session. They don't allow you to save and return later. Um, so just keep that in mind. As far as the application, let me show you this. So for the application, it is pretty straightforward. Um, they ask you for the name of your business. Please remember that the name of your business is going to be the name, again, that you're going to have that you uh, your business registered with your state. So whatever the business is, the business name you have registered with your state, you want to enter it in exactly, exactly as it appears <laughs> on that paper. The reason why you want to make sure is because you can run into funding issues when it's time to get money for your business and things like that. So it needs to match exactly. If it's called Blue Diamond LLC, you want to put, put Blue Diamond LLC. Um, and then the trade name. If you have a trade name, a trade name is not required um, when you get a business with your state. But if they, if you get a trade name, also known as a DBA name or doing business as name, then you want to put that trade name here. For example, um, when I had the party store, it was called Dream LLC, uh, doing business as VIP party store. So I would have put Dream LLC here and I would have put VIP party store here. And then uh, for the address, you want to put the exact address that you have for your business. If you have my ebook or if you're going to get my ebook, there's so many things to learn. One thing that I do talk about is the address. It is very important that you have a address. The address should not be your home address. It should either be a physical brick and mortar, not a PO box, they tell you. Um, so not a PO box, even though they accept the PO box, but for funding purposes, um, if you're trying to get money for your business and things like that, you do not want to use a PO box. If you are not worrying about business credit, then you can put whatever address that matches. Um, but if you uh, plan on getting business funding, then you want to make sure you have a virtual address. Make sure you get my ebook if you want to meet, if you want to get all the information where I go into detail about the proper type of business address and different types of business address you can use um, in this spot and different companies you can use to get a business address. It's not expensive at all to get a virtual address, but um, yeah, so that's another aspect of the application. They ask you for the city, state, all of that good information. And then here we are at the name of the responsible party. So this is the name of the business owner or the responsible party for the business where they ask for your social security number. So you want to put your name here and your social or whichever one applies. And then um, if you're going to be registering, if you have an LLC, then you just want to uh, check this here. If you if it's anything other than LLC, it's going to be in this section right here. So sole proprietor, a sole proprietorship. Um, then you want to check here, partnership and so on. And then a uh, reason for applying. Typically, it started a new business, but if it applies to any of these, then you want to make sure that you do check that. But it, make sure you're only checking one. So whichever one it applies to the most, you don't want to check multiple uh, boxes. And then the date the business started or acquired, um, then you want to make sure. If you're not sure, then you want to make sure you look at the instructions to uh, make sure you put the proper date, that the date the business started. And then... Um, oh, one thing I want to make sure I do talk to you guys about is it says to check a box of the principal activity of your business. So again, in my ebook, I talk about businesses and how some businesses are considered high risk. Real estate is one of those businesses that is considered high risk um, alongside credit repair. You can, you know, Google what businesses are high risk. If you are into real estate, I can give you this tip. You want to register two LLCs. You only need to start with one LLC and you want to register that LLC as maybe like a low risk company, for example, like a consulting company, right? And so you will register this LLC as a consulting company, a generic name, Blue Diamond. Um, that's not generic. Blue, True Blue LLC. Okay. Now you will register as a consulting company. You will build the business credit under this True Blue LLC. Build up the business credit to where you need it to be to start doing real estate. 
when you are ready to start acquiring real, acquiring real estate, at that point, you want to come back, register another LLC, and you want to specify that you will be doing real estate with this LLC. The reason is because real estate is such a high risk industry, it's harder to get business funding. So if you are able to register a generic consulting True Blue LLC, that will allow you to get the funding in order to pay for the real estate. So you will be acquiring real estate through your real estate LLC, and then you will have a business, another LLC, True Blue, that will be funding your real estate business. I hope that makes sense. But yes, major key. So if you like what you're hearing, shameless plug, definitely go check out my ebook. I have so many good things in there um, for you to learn um, on just the best way to be able to get your business funded, um, workarounds and things like that. And so um, other than that, the application is pretty simple. Your name, address and things like that, um, your signature and then um, they, any questions that you have, you know, specifically, if you're not sure what to put, then you can definitely um, read down here. If getting your EIN was easy, then let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up with the like button and let me know if you did register your business and good luck on all of your businesses. Also, I do want to mention again, if you want a company to do all of this for you from registering your business with your state to getting your EIN number, um, they do it all in one then you can click on the link in my bio um, in order to have a company do it for you. This company is uh, cheaper than a lot of the companies that I've seen. You can check them out if you're interested. And then also, when you're opening your business, if you need to build business credit or you need to build uh, any type of business financing, make sure you check out my ebook, The Business Credit Finesse, where I show you step-by-step -step how I was able to build business credit to open up my party store, um, I walk you through everything. I provide worksheets, checklists in order to keep you organized and stay on track to getting that business credit. Also, people use business credit for corporate leases, uh, vehicles, uh, high limit credit cards and everything. So make sure you check it out. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to learn more about business credit, real estate, all of these things. I'm into it all. I love business and just the benefits of it all what it can do for you, how it could change your life. So I wish good blessings on all of your businesses that you're registering. Um, I wish favor on you guys and I wish abundance. And um, yeah, let me know whatever questions you guys have down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.